Hey everyone, how we doing this morning? It's your girl Tally, um, back again. Uh, so guys, really important. And if this is not one of the most important things I have told you thus far, it's in it's up there guys and i know i say this everything's important which everything is important because the fact of the matter is it's so important to get to know yourself to let things go that need to be let go of and to dig deeper into who you are your confidence you know just how you present in this world i feel like that's most of my content helping you guys you know even as i help myself helping others present well, show up for themselves, love themselves, you know, and be better. And that's really the goal of this all. But again, this topic today is so important. Um, I think two years ago when I started on my journey just of, of change and, and doing better, being better in as many areas of my life as I could, I saw this post, this random post on um it was either Instagram or Facebook. And it says that you need to get to know yourself on a deeper level or 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 else people's random, conflicting narratives and opinions of you are going to affect you and are, are gonna make you think of yourself in a way that's not even true. But you have nothing to override those narratives and you or come combat those narratives because you don't even know who you are. So all you're getting is people's perception of you and though perception they say is people's reality and perception is reality for people, um, their perceptions of you is not who you are truly it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the actions that you did like if we're going if we're going to um relegate which means minimize you to the actions that you did against other people even if they were um not good even if they were uh negative something that you did that wasn't good like we can't even minimize all of who you are to that because then we we would have to examine what kind of position were were you in how are you feeling why did you feel like you need to do this to this person or act this way it's no excuse to act poorly it's no excuse to act out of character but it's just so easy to say oh this person is this way because they did this this and that but we never analyze why why what did you do to them first what what um was this a buildup of many things and then this person just blew up like so it's just like this is why you have to continue to get to know yourself and forgive yourself for things because you were in a spot your back could have been against the wall so you don't just automatically be like oh i'm a bad person this is who i am I suck. I use that word against myself. I used to like I suck. Like you can't just immediately come to that conclusion when, without analyzing the whole situation. And as I said, it's not a reason to act out of character, but people act different ways. If someone's not healed or they're not they're not healed to a certain level, they're going to act in certain ways. If you're not healed to a certain level, if I'm not healed to a certain level, there's a certain type of way we're going to react to different situations. And if we feel attacked, and if we feel um, like our back is against the wall, like nobody's on our side, nobody's taking up for us, nobody's speaking up for us, you're gonna act in a way that is most likely out of character. But when it's only when you do your healing work and you realize even, and then you get to a point that even when you're put in these unfavor unfavorable situations is when you can be cognizant of it which means like acknowledge it realize it when you're while you're in that situation and and make different decisions but that takes a level of cognition and that takes a level of healing to be able to react differently to those situations because it's tough it's a tough situation those situations that happen to you that put your back up against the wall that put you in a defense mode because you feel like you're being attacked those are always going to be a tough situation and hopefully we get to the point and i feel like i've gotten to that point where i can react differently but still it's still gonna be a tough situation and that's why i don't judge my old self for how i reacted to 
those kind of tough situations I don't or, or circumstances I don't judge myself harshly because I was a different version of myself I was less healed than I am now and that's that's what how I knew to react is it right no but that's who I am that's who I was at the time did I learn from it yes and that's all there is to it as long as you learn your lesson you need to move on we don't need to stay right there but this relates to what I want to speak to you guys about today because all all what I'm saying if you don't get to know yourself what people think about you their perception about you what you've been hearing them speak about you uh, the things that they tell you like you're gonna feel like that's who you are <laughs> you're gonna feel like that is who you are and have you ever sat down with somebody whom they they know you or they knew a lot of who you were like in the past and when I'm saying in the past when I speak of my past I'm gonna speak like two years ago because in two years I've gone through a rigorous rebrand and I'm not talking about no business rebrand I'm talking about my real life here my real life has gone through a rebrand. I've changed the way I've, do, I've done a lot of things. My whole lifestyle changed in a matter of two years. It's, it's um, impossible for me to be the same person I was two years ago. All right, my, my whole rebrand. Anybody who knew me two years ago, they know that, wow, Tally, you've, like, all of them, you're, you're inspiring, you, you, you've changed yourself a lot. It's so refreshing to see someone who, who chooses themselves, who loves themselves, who's more comfortable in themselves. Like, you, you literally see that. So this is not something that I'm just making up about myself. This is something that I've been told and, and something that I just know. I've gone through a, a, such a, 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 a development, a development. I always have problems, a problem with that word, development. I've gone through a development and a transformation like none other and glory to God for that because I know it's only God who has brought me through and is continuing to bring me through to be whoever he wants me to be and I'm I'm down for whatever God is down for whatever he trying to do with me I let him do it because so far so good <laughs> so far so good and I promise you when you get on that journey with God that's exactly how you're gonna feel when you look at yourself in the mirror the way you look the way you feel about yourself you're gonna be like wow so this is what God wanted to do so far so good you know what I'm just gonna commit the rest of myself to him and just surrender everything because obviously the way I'm feeling the way I'm looking obviously the way I think my mindset obviously he knows best he's doing the best because I like why wouldn't I trust this why wouldn't you trust this you just have to trust him and you know surrender but what I'm saying is guys it's so important because you don't go through a rebrand like this and you don't go through life period without people having things to say about you that are not so nice and that are negative and that are just not true it's it could be a downright lie it could it's just an attack on your character they're trying to paint you to to be something that you're not they're trying to dehumanize you making you making other people think and feel like you're somebody that you're not but they don't even know you that's the the, the most hurtful part of it and the most angering part of it they don't know you they do not know you well enough to create any kind of stories or narratives about you and your character and who you are. They don't they haven't even sat down long enough to create anything to to have any valid um what is that called? Any v valid analyzations of you. They have no, it's it's just not enough. It's just not enough. It's faulty, it's false and it's and it's um it's it's gross negligence i love that word <laughs> it's gross neg negligence because you're you're being negligent you are you are being very negligent when you don't know somebody and you feel like you could you could create narratives about them and this is not anybody who's created a, a narrative about me recently you know what i'm saying like like god has brought me through this but sometimes things just pop back up in your mind you know what i'm saying because this, this is another thing i'm gonna talk to you about like when you made it through that trial and god um god um made it made it so that you came out on top and victorious one moment y'all y'all look at this stanley this is my favorite i wanted one for the longest finally bought one anyways when god 
when God got the victory, all right, and he got the victory for you, you didn't fight your battle, and but God got the victory for you, you're going to come out and you're going to be like, dang, like this person really tried to bring me down. <laughs> you're going to feel like that. Like this person really tried to bring me down. This person really created a false narrative in their head about me and really made me out to be like an enemy and try to ruin other people's perceptions of me and they really thought they was going to succeed with that even though they didn't like why would you do that <laughs> that's how you're gonna feel why would you do that and this could be people that you were cool with you were kind to this could be people that you know you thought they they would have been a, a mentor to you they would have helped and aided you in your goals and everything but no this is it could be somebody who the same person you thought was gonna be that to you it turned out to be the person who who went against you who went against the what is it who went against the gang who went against the team and that really that feeling really really does suck but what i was also telling you is about when you sit down with someone who thought they know you and they knew you in the past and for me my past is anything two years in old past two years ago even longer anything two and a half years ago that's my past right now so people who think they they knew you from back then and and they're bringing up stuff and they and i don't know sometimes when you're in the moment you you're like it's all it's all laughs and giggles but when you reflect when you reflect on what that person intention was in bringing up past things you you look back at it in hindsight right in retrospect you look back and you're like hmm what was this person really trying to do was this person looking at me now and seeing you know my growth and how far i come and, and seeing how good i look in this moment and were they trying to what humble me it kind of feels like that it feels like you were trying to humble me you were trying to remind me of things that happened in the past and things that don't mean anything literally when god has brought you through things and has healed you for certain things and you know you come through like these things don't mean anything like people be holding on to your past if you're holding on to your past this is your sign to let that stuff go because i promise you they do not mean anything so this person you're sitting with this person or these people and they could be bringing up things about you because things that they knew from the past and it's like there what is the purpose of this like in the moment you you're just thinking you're having casual conversation but everything has a kind of emotional spiritual component to it that's just how i feel words especially words have a spiritual component to it so the, the words when you're having a conversation when someone's speaking to you when someone's saying things to you it could either uplift you it could put you or it could put you down it's either uplifting or 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 it puts you down right so what is the the purpose of speaking about things that are over two and a half years ago four years ago you know there's just no purpose in that and it and maybe you have to give people grace because maybe they don't understand that they don't understand like those things don't matter anymore and that's the past and maybe don't they don't understand like you know you've grown so much past that like they see it but they can only relate to the old you because they're not in your new life they're not in they're not with you on your new journey they don't they they see how far you've gone but they don't see and all the work that gets put into being the new you so you have to all you have to give them grace but at the same time be be very mindful of what you allow people to bring up and what you allow people to say to you and it's all about really how you respond to it when you respond to it don't be trying to make excuses about what happened don't don't try to and this is where i fell short because i try to like kind of make excuses about what happened kind of talk about it like a little bit too freely and what i realized is like bro when people bring up things like in your past just just be very nonchalant about it don't let it bother you be very nonchalant and nonchalant means like hey whatever it, it is what it is it happened the way it happened and 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 mold the conversation into something a new new thing new new things new people hey listen i'm moving ahead it don't really matter it, nothing matters because the the fact of the matter is the reality is it doesn't matter it doesn't matter all right the all we focusing on is newness change better and better and it means it means nothing to be holding on to things that you cannot change 
things that already happened, the past, all of that is garbage. All of that is pointless. And that's how you have to see it as. And it may even be to the point that you can't even hang around certain kind of people. And that's why they always tell you that. They, I used to always hear that, but I never really, it never really clicked for me until I was in a place that I am currently where I am, I am new. And not many people have, I, even, I myself haven't experienced this part of me. I'm experiencing this new side of me. I'm this new person, freshly experiencing the new me. So I don't have anybody else around me who has experienced this side of me. So they don't know how to relate. I'm just learning how to relate to me, the new me. You get it? Like I'm just learning how to be and show up for me in the way I'm showing up for me to be this new me. So I don't expect other people to know how to relate to this new me when this is new to me as well. So it could get to the point where you can't really um, spend as much time hanging around certain kind of people or your people who used to know you as much because they can only relate to the old you. And the old you is like, it's like, you ever seen a document like an uh, adobe document a pdf document um if you leave a pdf document too long and then you try to send it to other people when that document gets to the other side it's gonna look like a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo no no, no maybe not, not that not that no the pdf document when you try to print it i'm sorry that's what i want to say when you try to print if you leave it up let's say you leave it up overnight and the next day you try to print it, it it's at least at my job when you print it it's like a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo like a whole bunch of question marks like all the words get like all kind of like it's like a whole bunch of confusion like you don't even see the document when you try to print it so it's like that's that's what it is like when someone's trying to tell you about something from the past that you don't even relate to no more it's like it's like a a a, a confusion a, a mumbo jumbo document like not reading not reading and it's sad sometimes to think about it especially like you want to think the best about people for real like in order for you to continue to move on and not let things affect you the best way to do it is just give people the benefit of the doubt like you know hey you just don't know better you you just don't know better or you just you know you just stuck on the, the past me that's the best way to see it but when you're looking back and you're just a human being and you're seeing like were you just trying to humble me? Were you trying to bring me down in a certain kind of way? That kind of hurts. That hurts. But give them the benefit of the doubt anyway because hanging on to that, again, pointless. We're not trying to hang on to pointless things. But my point today is really when you already know the, your story, it's such a powerful thing to know your story, to know who you are, to know what God trying to do in your life to know where God is trying to take you because when you know these things these random and conflicting opinions and narratives that people have about you they cannot stick they cannot stick because even if it's something truthful for truthful like you something that you really did you're trying to get better than who you were yesterday anyway so there's nothing wrong in acknowledging something that you truthfully did and saying okay i did this yeah this was wrong um i apologize apologize to who you need to apologize and move on from it so i'm not saying not to do that i'm just saying not to continue to dwell on these things all right and and to continue to forgive yourself for what was done. So you're you're over there and you when you just know who you are, you're not gonna allow things to stick to you. Because I come from a place where I allowed everything to stick to me. Because what because that's the that's the danger in not knowing who you are. You allow everything to stick to you, everything that people say about you, true or false. It's hurting, it hurts you, it makes you feel less about yourself, it, it shuts you down, you go into your shell, and you're just you just feel powerless and you're angry and you have all this tension built up within you because you just don't have any kind of for lack of the better word, weapons to combat this with. And when I say weapons, I'm not talking about a gun. <laughs> okay, I'm talking about 
who you really are, what you really believe in your, about yourself. I'm talking about the word of God, the Bible, the Bible, what the Bible says about what you mean to God, how much God loves you. Those are weapons against what people have to say about you. The weapons, another other weapons is how much you know God loves you. Um, other weapons, what God has already brought you through. What God has already brought you through is proof that no matter what, God is not going to leave you. He's always going to make a way for you. And listen, even if you do fall into a rut, he's going to bring you out of it. So just knowing those things, those are strength about what people got to say about you. If you feel like you're in a, in a circumstance that you really want to get out of, you know that God is coming for you because he has came for you in the past. He's, came for, he's come for you before and he's going to continue to come for you because that's how much God loves you. So all of these are weapons against what people have to say about you. But as I said, when you don't know yourself, you're still struggling in your identity, you can't combat these things. When you don't have a relationship with God and you don't have a track record of how God has rescued you, you can't combat these things. So you just accept anything everybody has to say about you and, and, and that's where you go wrong. That's where that's where you fall off at accepting what other people have to say about you because people are entitled to their own opinions they're entitled to their own perceptions about you but what you need to know is what it really is what you need to know is the path that you're on stay on the path stay focused on the path that god has for you and no matter what happens you know that everything is going to work out for your good why because the Bible says so. You see that? That right there is a weapon. So you know no matter what goes wrong, you know that the Bible says all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. So the, so even if something happens that is bad, something that's wrong, something that's unfavorable, you know because you have built this relationship with the Lord, you love the Lord, you follow God, that it will always work together for your good. And that is so much strength and that's so much power in that because that means when things happen to you, that are terrible when things happen to you that are uh that are it's just it's sad it makes you angry you feel like it's um it's an injustice it's not fair you can be calm and you could be composed and you do not have to um you don't you don't have to um act out of character you don't have to go to battle and fight for yourself you don't have to ruin your image with people you just sit still and you and you stay prayed up and you stay trusting god knowing that he's gonna come through for you there's so much power in that that is power against what people try to say about you and and the more that you love on yourself the more that you um come into contract contractual agreement with yourself and you know like you know what this is what we're focused on this is our purpose this is what's bringing me closer to god this is the path that god has me on god loves me the more you come into agreement with that the less what other people say is going to matter to you it's not going to matter to you because you're at the at, at this point you're like you know what it is what it is they have their entire they're entitled to what they have to say but you're so strong you're so strong in your in your spirit. Your spirit is so strong, not everything is allowed to come in. Not everything's allowed to come in and not everything's allowed to go out. Everything gets checked at the door. Come on now, everything gets checked out the door. Confidence come in, security come in, faith come in, love come in, trust come in. Come on, that could come in. But all right, everything else, unforgiveness, get out unforgiveness get out insecurity get out all right anything that makes me feel like i can't have confidence in god get out everything everything gets checked at the door so i feel like that's what um people try to different sources that got sent to my life to try to build me up try to try to tell me all along the secret to not caring about what people are saying is being strong enough within your spirit and and trusting in god enough to not even care because you know that god got you like to be strong in your spirit for me is to be is just to trust god to trust god to know his word to know how he feels about you to know what he says that alone makes you strong enough to your spirit in your spirit to combat anything nothing is getting in nothing is getting in or out without uh without getting checked 
without getting checked what people say about you is not gonna matter as much because it gets checked at the door and it gets thrown in the trash not every that's why i keep telling you guys when you treat your body like a temple you treat it like a courthouse everything can't go in the courthouse everything get checked at the metal detector and listen this not allowed in here is going in the trash get out <laughs> i was at a courthouse recently so yeah but that's really the gist of it guys it's really the gist of it. You have your story. You know what God has taken you taking you from. You know what God's taking you to. And you're just, you have, you believe in that. You have, it's all about that faith. You have faith in that. You believe in that. So no matter what happens, you're all good. No matter what happens, you know, you're just strong enough spiritually to override that's the it's, it's just to override everything that everything that's negative you know not 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 to overlook you know your faults all right your shortcomings never overlook your faults your shortcomings because they help you grow but you override things that don't matter if you if you actually did something and you um apologize for it and then you 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 seek that that person forgive you okay cool but if that person still try to hold it against you you can't you can't you can't harp on that you have to override it everything what people say about you you did this you did this you did this override it you can't allow them to continue to hold things over your head you can't allow one second y'all hey welcome to starbucks can i get started today hi can i have a, a venti ice white chocolate mocha please Venti ice white mocha. Do you want the whipped cream? Um, yes. Anything else? Nope. 690, see at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, guys. Um, you just, I need to, I need Starbucks to do my app though. Let me see if I have it on my iPad for real. Okay. What was I saying? You just, when you're just, here, we could go, but you guys get the gist when you're strong enough in your spirit everything you don't go for everything you don't fall for everything and like hold on y'all oh i do have it on here you don't go for everything you don't fall for everything you don't go with the crowd you're not you're not um looking to anybody to validate you none of that because you got god and you know once you have god for real for real you locked in him for real for real you don't need anything else because he's your everything i'll see you guys later maybe i might do a part two bye